Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We learn about eddy current. When eddy current flows in a conductor, it produces heat that results in the loss of electrical energy in the conductor. So it is needed to be removed. In the transformers as well in the motor. If you look at the, the core, core is made of these kind of laminated sheets. If anti-current is producer, it can be avoided by this kind of arrangement. Even if you look at the, the armature of a DC motor, it, the core is made of laminated sheets. It is to overcome the eddy current. Though the flow of eddy current in a conductor produces heat, but it can be used beneficially. Now I will discuss some of the appliances in which it is used beneficially. Here I have an induction stub which works on the principle of heating effect of eddy current. If you look at inside, there is a coil of enameled copper wire. When we pass alternating current of high frequency through this, it produces varying magnetic field. In that varying magnetic field, when we place a cooking vessel made of a suitable metal, the flow of eddy current occurs in that vessel, which heats up the vessel. As a result, the food cooks very fast. The circle that you see here is called as the cooking zone in which we place the vessel. The formation of eddy current also find its application in the brake system of train. Here I have a simple arrangement to show how eddy current is used in the brake system of train. Now, uh, here I have pivoted the aluminum can on the tip of a pencil. I rotate this, which resembles the movement of that wheel of a train. When I bring new diamond magnet very close to this, the speed reduces. At one point, it comes to rest. I repeat this once again. See, when the new magnet is brought close, the speed reduces and at one point it comes to rest. The aluminum can has come to rest due to the formation of a D current. Here I have a moving coil galvanometer which makes use of electromagnetic damping to stop the oscillation of point. If you look at inside, there is a coil of a rectangular shape present here. When current is passed through this, point shows deflection. To avoid the unwanted oscillation of pointer, a cylinder made of steel is used at the center of the coin. Whenever the coil moves, eddy current is formed in the steel cylinder, which arrests the movement of the pointer. And it comes to rest at once. This is how eddy current is used in moving coil galvanometer. 
Now we'll discuss the fourth application of AT current. It is known as AT current testing. If you want to test the presence of any kind of crack or bubble in a metal sheet or metal bar, then it can be done without breaking it using eddy current testing. In this method, a coil of this kind is taken and we pass alternating current through this. So it produces varying magnetic field. When such coils are brought near the metal sheet, it produces induced current called as eddy current in the metal sheet. If there is any crack or defect in the metal sheet, then the amplitude of AD current will vary. So by measuring the amplitude of AD current, one can easily find out the presence of defect in the metal sheet. I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.